Okay, let's do a face relationship problem example. Okay, this 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 problem statements uh, problem statement sorry is as follows: We have a moist soil sample with a mass of thirteen point ninety five kilograms, and its volume is seventy eighty centimeters cubed (cc). Right. The water content of the sample is nine point eight percent, and we want to determine the void ratio. Okay, so I wrote some other things here, so let's, let's just go like this. All right. The first thing that we realize is that we can always write down the mass density of water, which is a thousand kilograms per meter cubed, or one gram per cc. Okay. Now I put a square around or lines around this uh, this value here. It's the same value, right? but different units. Um, I put a square around this value simply because we are given the volume in cc, so we might as well use the row in cc, in the cc version. Okay, that's all. You can change this to, um, to uh, meters cubed, okay? That w then you would use this one in the problem, but it's whatever you want. I think it's simply easier to just use that. Okay, so um, next, do we know the GS or the rho s? That is, do we know the mass density of the minerals that make the particles? Well, it's not given. If it's not given, we can assume the GS to be the typical value, which means that the rho s is 2650 kilograms per meter cubed or 2.65 gram per cc. Okay. <clears throat> Next, does it say that the soil is saturated? No. So we cannot assume that S equal to 1, right? That S equals 1. All right, let's figure out what type of problem this is, type 1 or type 2. Well, we begin, we read, here's a mass. There's a mass given with units of, obviously, mass. Okay? Just at that point, we know that this is a type 1. If we proceed, we reinforce the fact that it's a type 1 because another parameter with units of volume or mass, in this case volume, is given. Okay? Here's a, a, a parameter, a phase relationship in this case, W, that is dimensionless. That's also given. Okay? That's fine. The, the, the point is that uh, either the mass or a volume, in this case, actually both, are given. This is definitely a type 1, very clear. Right? Type 1 means that we proceed with what we have, which means that we draw the phase diagram. Mass, volume, air, water, solids, volume of void. Oops, okay, here we go. Phase diagram. Okay, we can always write that the mass of air is zero, right? So we begin in this form. Once we have everything that we can possibly strategize, right, to do before we start the problem, then we stop and start using the things that we have or the things that are given to us, okay? So we know that the mass of the soil is 13.95 kilograms. Okay, but because we are going to use just my own selection, it doesn't matter what you would use if you were to use this or that. But my my selection here, just arbitrarily, I guess, is that I want to use grams per cc. So I have I'm going to convert this to grams. So 13.95 kilograms is 13.95 times a thousand is 13.950 grams. So this is in grams. And this is in cc. Okay? Now the volume of the soil is given 7080. Okay. You're filling the phase diagram, right? What else can we put in there? Well, we don't have anything else with units of mass or volume, so we cannot write anything else in there. So we proceed to use what we know, which is 
in this case the water content. So let's write the water content. The water content is the mass of water or the mass of solids. Okay? And you must know this equation by memory. It's an equation but it's a definition rather than you know, a, a, an equation with operators. Well, actually, it does have an operator, a division. Okay, but it is a definition, and you should know it by memory, just like you should know void ratio, porosity, and all the ones that are in the slides. The fundamental ones. Okay, so we know that this is 9.8%. We always operate with the decimal format. Okay, so never use percentages when you're operating with the parameters <coughs> in the equations, which means that obviously 9.8% is 0 0.098. Okay, so we're looking for one of these, but here we have one equation with two unknowns. So how do we proceed? Well, look, look closely at the phase diagram. Remember we know that the mass of solids plus the mass of water plus the mass of air is equal to the total mass. So in this case, and in every case, the mass of air is zero. So this plus this is the mass, which we know. So we could say that the mass of water is the mass minus the mass of solids, right? The mass minus the mass of solids is the mass of water. Very simple. And over here we have mass of solids. This mass is 13,950 right here. So if we take this to this side we have 0 0.098 mass of solids plus mass of solids right equals total mass which I'm just gonna write the value 13950 which means that 1.098 ms is equal to 1395 zero, which means that ms is equal to 12704.9 grams, okay, 12704.9, 1270, actually mass of solids, 12704.9 okay perfect now <clears throat> immediately immediately once you have a value on one side of the phase diagram you can get the value on the other side how with the row equal to mass over volume fundamental equation okay so we know for example in this case that the row of solids is 2.65 because we assume the gs right okay and we know the mass of solids which is 12704.9 so all we have to do is to get the volume of solids is divide the mass of solids by the row of solids which is that number divided by 2.65 so 12704.9 2.65 point three. CC, right? Perfect. Okay, remember we are trying to fill the phase diagram so we can get anything we want, including the void ratio, which is the actual request for this problem. Okay, so how do we get the mass of water? Well, look, here's the total mass. Whoops. How do we get the mass of water? Here's the total mass. Here's the mass of solids, right? And the mass of air is zero. This plus this plus this is that. So essentially, mass of water is just this minus this, right? So 13,950 minus 127.04.9, 1245.1. Okay? This plus this plus this is that. Very simple, but the problem here with phase relationships or the problems that students have are most often associated with remembering all the 
things that you have to remember to, uh, even though they're simple, to, to finish the problem. Okay? So in many cases, students forget that this plus this plus this is that, and then they get stuck. Okay? So just, just uh, the idea here is if you practice, if you pra if you practice um, a lot, then you will, you will really do well with these problems. Practice goes a long way with these problems. Okay. Now, again, here you have a mass in one side of the phase diagram. You can go to the other side easily with this equation. Rho, in this case of water, is mass of water divided by volume of water, right? What is the rho of water? One gram per cc. What is the mass of water? One, two, four, five point one. Okay? So the volume is simply that divided by one, which is the same. One, two, four, five point one. Okay, so we are basically almost done with the phase diagram. All we need is this value so we can proceed to get our void ratio, which is what we want. And we can get anything else. We can get degree of saturation, we can get uh, dry density, whatever you want. And we'll do it, actually. But let's get the void, let's fill the phase diagram first and get the void ratio. So, here we're missing the volume of air. And we know that this plus this plus this is this. So very simple, this value is this one, total, minus this two. Okay, so 1245.1 plus 4794.3, 780. So minus 780. 1040.6. Okay, very simple. Volume of voids is this two. So if we add these two, we get this one. 285.7. All these are cc's, cubic centimeters. Okay, the diagram is filled, or full. Now we can get whatever we want. Void ratio. Obviously, to get the void ratio, you have to remember by memory that the void ratio is the volume of voids over the volume of solids, which is 2285.7 over 4794.3 or 47.6% and that's the answer okay now let's say that you wanted the density of the soil density is rho mass over volume well Here's the mass, and here's the volume. 13,950, 78. This one divided by that one, right? 1.97. 1.97 grams per cc, which is to say 1970 kilogram per meter cubed. Okay? What about the dry density? The dry density is the density associated with the dry soil. It is not the density of the solids. This is not rho s. Rho s is the mass of solids over the volume of solids. Rho d is the mass of solids over the total volume. This is kind of a weird parameter in the sense that the subscripts don't match. Here, this density, obviously, the subscripts match, right? Raw water, the subscripts match. Water, water, water. Solid, solid, solid. Total, total, total. No subscripts. Here, this thing is a weird one in the sense that the subscripts don't match. Okay? And, of course, this is not equal to that. Because this is Vs and this is B. So, let's get rho D. Rho D is the mass of solids, this one, divided by the total volume, that one. Oops. Mass of solids divided by the total volume. So 12, 704.9 divided by 780. 1.79 gram per cc. 
Look at the difference between the dry density. I'm sorry, I'm moving this paper around. Uh, I just divided the mass of solids over the total volume because that's rho d, right? Rho d, and that's what I get, what we get. So notice the difference between the density of the soil when it's moist and the density of the soil when it has no water, yet keeping its void ratio intact. Obviously, the density of the moist soil is larger, right? Because the soil has water in it, that is in the voids. In this case, the soil only has, water, well, only has air in the voids. Okay? Another one, porosity. Porosity is the volume of voids over the total volume, which is 2285.7 divided by the total volume 780.32. Okay? So the porosity is different than the void ratio, obviously. This is 32%, right? Because they are different, they are different, they have different definitions. Volume of voids over volume of solids, volume of voids over volume. And if you wanted to get the degree of saturation, it would be the volume of voids, sorry, volume of water over volume of voids. Okay? So, volume of water over volume of voids. So, you can do that on your own. It would be a decimal, and then you can multiply by 100 to make it a percent. The, the key here is to make sure that you follow the phase diagram, okay? Uh, or fill the phase diagram. Uh, but first, follow the strategic steps so that you can complete the problem uh, without any trouble. Okay? We'll do more examples in, a, in a more videos.